Hello, welcome to lesson 68, Nullable Types in C Sharp, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn what is Nullable Type in C Sharp. To understand the Nullable Type, first, uh, first let us understand uh, what is Data Type in C Sharp and what are the categories present in it. In C Sharp, the Data Types are divided into two categories. They are Value Type and the Reference Type. Okay, and value types include the built-in data types. They are int, float, double, enums, etc. And the reference type include the built-in data type string and also the other reference type class, interface, arrays, delegate, etc. And keep in mind by default, the value types are non-nullable in the sense, uh, if you create a variable of a value type and the default value present in that variable is zero. Okay, that's what value types are non-nullable means. And coming to reference type, reference types are nullable. Okay, in the sense, if you create a variable of string, which is a reference type, and the default value present in that variable of reference type is null. Okay, that's what the meaning of these two types, value types and the reference type. Value types are non-nullable and the reference types are nullable. And that's what the meaning of this and that's what the default value stored in them. And right now, we'll understand the next part. Okay, suppose if I want to make the value type as nullable, what is the procedure I have to follow or what is the thing I have to do? Example, you can observe here int i is equal to zero. zero. Okay, the default value in value types is zero. Okay, highest non nullable and i cannot be set to null. And if I try to uh, give the value null to that i variable which is a value type, it will generate a compile time error. Let us see a demo of this. Okay. Uh, for example, let me int i is equal to 0. Okay. Now, let me build this and this works fine. And if I try to assign a null to that i which is a value type and immediately throws a red squiggly telling like cannot convert null to int because that variable i it is a non nullable value type so it cannot store that value suppose let me jump back to presentation if i want to make this value type as nullable that i as nullable what i have to do to make a value type nullable we have to use this question mark operator how where i have to place this question mark operator is immediately after defining the int okay or calling the int i have to base a question mark and this question marks as a, a major role playing here it, it makes this uh, j as a nullable int okay now the j can be a nullable int and if i assign j is equal to one null and this perfectly works now let us see a demo of it now if i want to make this i as nullable int how do i do that it's very simple immediately after calling this int i have to call the question mark and you can observe the, the right squiggly disappeared this is how you'll make a value type to a nullable type and that's that's the beauty of that operator and that's what we learned in this session how to make the value type unnullable okay and let me show you a simple example okay to do that i'm having a simple form ready here uh, this form takes the input name and the class that is section and it's asking you cleared gate examination that is yes or no okay and this section this field uh, is optional user um, uh, wish to fill if if he wish to fill he can f uh, fill this uh, field like clear gate exam or he can leave as it is okay if he fills this field like if you press enter this is the value is going to store there and if we if you press no then this is the value which will be stored assigned to this uh, field clear gate examination and if user does not wish to fill any of them a uh, value has to be stored okay and uh, that's what we are going to see now how null of uh, the nullable um, operator plays a major role for example let me define a boolean value and it is like cleared cleared gate exam and right now let me give it true okay now what shall I do is for example if cleared sorry sorry for that if cleared gate examination is equal to sorry is equal to true okay then tell the user or store like user user cleared gate examination okay and if it is false let me else if let me take else if 
else uh, let me copy this and paste just to save the time and if it is false like if if he tells that he has not cleared examination no okay then it has to be printed like user user did not clear gate examination and now when I run this it prints like user cleared gate examination because I'm assigning I'm um, I'm checking like well it is true okay like clear gate examination is equal to true if a user enters like s here okay if user enters s here and this is the line is going to print like user clear gate examination and if user enters no and it's going to print like user did not clear gate examination to do that what I have to do is I have to assign false here okay now let me run if user enters no there here the this is the output we'll get user did not enter did not clear the gate examination okay these are the two conditions these are the two scenarios suppose if user as I said earlier this field is optional this clear gate examination field is optional and if user did not uh, checked any one of them okay then what is the data it has what is the data this field has to store and that can be solved by using the null label operator now if I make this uh, null label operator first let us assign here null okay if it if the field is null what it has to do immediately I'll get a red squiggly telling like cannot convert null to bool because it's a non nullable value type okay now if I want to make this nullable label as we learned earlier we have to place the question mark after the definition of that bool okay now what I have to do here is if I else if I print else now I want to print uh, uh, telling like user did not user did not did not fill the field okay this is what we are going to do now now what I've done is I've assigned bool clear gate examination is equal to null but this clear gate examination is of nullable type okay now let me run the program it has to print like telling user did not enter did not fill the field okay and that's what the nullable type solved this scenario very easily and that's a simple form demo what we learned which help which helped us to learn uh, how this nullable type is going to uh, uh, make use in the real world application okay that's what the nullable type is and what we learned in this session is how to make a value type to nullable type and also a simple uh, uh, working application demo we saw now and that's for the day thank you for listening have a great day don't forget to subscribe to our uh, youtube channel Ang Pro training and also don't forget to give your valuable feedback thank you